Welcome everybody to That Tracks Podcast, the podcast where we track the history of the Bass Tracker boat. Nick, take us back to that fateful day <laughs> in 1978 where Johnny wow. Morris and John A. Morris came up with the idea of the Bass Tracker boat, a boat devoted to fishing. Whereas before there had been no boats <laughs> that were just solely devoted to fishing and Bass Pro Shops decided, hey, Let's make a boat just for fishing. <laughs> where did, where did, did you Google this? Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, know, I didn't know if this was useless information that was stored in It was, brain. no, I didn't have that stored. I, I figured all that out just now, but it was because <laughs> of the bass tracker. Well, I'm proud of you. And also it's good to be back. Oh, it's good to I be back. I missed you last week. I missed you? Yeah. I was, yes. I was happy that you guys were having some, some good, fun, quality family time. Oh, but... by the way, we were on a cruise. Yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> Welcome back. The the day that we were supposed to record didn't work out. Yeah. And then the next day didn't, didn't work, work out. out. Yeah, it just and happened. then we left on a cruise. So but that's why I wasn't here. You Nick did a great job. I Did you listen to the episode? No. <laughs> <laughs> but Yeah, I was going to put you on the spot there. <laughs> I did not. No, not that okay. I didn't want to. You were to. on a cruise. You didn't have time. Yeah. It's okay. I'm not personally offended. But I f- wanted to say thank you to everybody who like had so many nice things to say about what was your that tracks thing? I said, Sorry, I'm interrupting too much. No, 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 it's okay. I said um, uh, something about like where Nick tracks by himself without Tim. It was uh, like, fun or creative. I didn't have a random fact. You can I don't want to come st- up with one. Yeah, I didn't want to steal that from. No, I wanted That's you your... too. <laughs> you wouldn't have even listened to it. So <laughs> would have been great. If you had come up with the fact, I would have listened to it. Wow, that's what determined whether or not you're yeah. gonna listen. You didn't even know. Yeah, I did. I was just <laughs> testing you. Well, it's uh, good to be back. I did miss it. I. It's not easy to sit on a podcast and talk by yourself for like 40 minutes. Oh, that sounds very difficult. I talk a lot. So it's not that difficult for me, but it, it still is just like I missed this banter. Yeah. I good. did go off on tangents, though. Oh. Yeah. So what did you talk about? Stay uh, puff marshmallows? No. <laughs> mm, Should have. I don't think that the tangents were like as random as our tangents can be sometime but there were a few i i kind of like spiraled in my brain talked about taylor swift oh when you were and you shook it off wow good job good reference yeah. um i'll give that one like a c plus do you know why i came up with that reference because on the cruise a little girl <laughs> sang it during karaoke oh that's so fun and i was like i give it a, a little boy too he c was like plus. one. Oh, that's fun maybe two and he was up there going shake it off Take it off. I love it. Ethan sings so many Taylor Swift songs and it's precious listening to him. You should put him up for karaoke. I also, random, but I posted a video on my story. We went to Hollywood Studios last week and I was singing You've Got a Friend in Me and someone replied and said, make sure that Tim sees this because then he'll have heard you sing. Oh. Me missed it. But you didn't make sure that I saw it. Well, I, I wasn't going to like send it to you. <laughs> you should have sent it to me. That's what the idea was. You, they said, True. send this to Tim. And es- you said, no. Especially singing You've Got a Friend of Me. That would have been yeah. like a cool little moment. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Um, but anyways, so I'll show it to you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I talked about Taylor Swift. While you were away, the Ares Tour showed up on Disney Plus, And it was really cool because they like, ch- well, you were here. When that happened, technically. Yeah. Yeah. But you were like. That was in, in the midst of it. Yeah. Packing too many things. Did Actually, s- I didn't pack enough stuff. Oh, Jed really? packed too much stuff, but I didn't pack enough. It was a long cruise. You were gone for a week. Seven days. That's awesome. I'm trying to book a longer one. Mm, yeah. You we'll see if I that. find it. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. I'm, I'm thankful that you guys had a good time. I want to go. I want to book a back to back where we go around the world. Oh, wow. I don't know if that'll happen. What was your favorite part of the cruise? Oh, family, <laughs> togetherness. Yeah, that's good though. No, I mean, uh, when we went to the, the, <clears throat> where did we go? We went to Tortola and we went to St. Thomas. Yeah. We found these two beaches that were amazing. I think I sent you videos, right? Yeah. 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 Fantastic. I was so jealous though. I will tell you though, it's like Instagram, right? Right. You see these picturesque views. Right. So the one on Tortola was a place called Beef Island. Yeah. Um, And... That was full of what we call sea lice, which is just like oh yeah, jellyfish tentacles that are broken off. Yeah, and you're just getting stung by it. Yeah, that's not fun. Not fun. No, but it was beautiful. Yeah, and like you could tolerate it. So we we're just like in there getting stung up by jellyfish tentacles. Yeah. Um, and then the other one that I sent you on St. Thomas, the driver that took us there seemed like he might have been under the influence. Oh, 
might not have been. I'm like, no judgment on him. He was just a little bit swervy and a little bit slurry. Okay. So, which could be a little like intimidating for sure. Yeah. Not just a little, pretty intimidating. Yeah. Especially when you're traveling with your family, young kids. Well, especially because he took us there in the morning and then he also took us back in the afternoon. Mm. So the ride back was a little bit worse. Yeah. And like what was happening between the morning and the. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he took us up to a lookout point. That's pretty cool. Where we like could look out over the island. Yeah. And he's like, you got five minutes. And then I was like, this guy is going to leave with whoever's on the bus, no (laughs) matter what. He's just going to like leave. So I was like, Jen, we need to like (laughs) take pictures and then just get back on the bus and wait. And true to it, people were not all the way on the bus. And he's like backing out. And the lady lady was like, my husband and and my mother-in-law are not on the bus. And he's like, did they wait? He slammed on the brakes like halfway out oh, and because she was like getting off and he's like, you can't get off the bus. And she's like, not everybody's on the bus. He's like, I got to get back to the boat. Booking excursions on cruises makes me a little nervous sometimes. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. I will say, though, the one that we booked where the guy had a, was a very harrowing trip. Mm-hmm. Um, the place that we went to is called Secret Sands Beach on St. Thomas. Amazing. And when we got there. Trying to think. Yeah. When we got there, it was just like, there was just like a guy on the beach that was like, I brought everybody sand toys. I brought everybody floats. You can have as many drinks as you want. Just tip me. You got to pay for chips. <laughs> so random. And like, he had like a whole huge cooler full of Coca Cola's. And like, and you he can had have like, as many as you want of those. Yeah. He was making people like rum punches and wow. stuff. And then like, he gave us, um, like, passion fruit wow. juice. That's awesome. And it was just like, he was listening to like a true crime podcast on the beach. Yeah. I hanging think, out. Like you can get very good excursions, but then you can also get ones that are. Well, this was like great. a combination of the two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Polar opposite. Yeah. St. Thomas is a beautiful island. I've been there before. Oh. It's so nice. It was not on a Disney cruise. It was a Royal Caribbean cruise. Boom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never been on yeah, one. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, there's nothing like Disney cruises in my personal opinion. Yeah, people always tell me that I need to book Royal Caribbean. They're like, you could save so much money. And then I like go through and I try to book it. And then things start adding up and adding up and adding up and adding up. And then I'm paying the same as a right. Disney cruise. It and I'm looks, like, what? It's almost like booking a different airline. Like if you, Yeah, like Spirit, yeah. where you have to like pay for all your baggage and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and generally speaking, sometimes it is a little cheaper. But by the time you add everything that you need, it does get either comparable or more pricey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had fun. I did. I have a feeling that probably your high dad suit moment can tie into experiences from the cruise. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about it. I was too busy thinking about bass trackers. Oh, well, I have. I think I know one of yours. <laughs> What's that? Well, I mean, I guess we can just jump into high dad suit. I will say this today's episode, we have so much news to cover. Yeah, I know. We should probably we, do we, that. We will soon. do that for sure. <laughs> but we we have a lot to talk about, a lot of news to cover. Not just like this week. The week that Tim was gone, it was like my head was on a swivel. Every time that I like opened up like Twitter or X or Instagram, something new was being posted specifically within the world of Disney. So we have a lot to break down and talk about, and we will get to that. Also, something that I did not talk about last week, and I wanted to save a couple things for this conversation, and we don't have to spend a long time on this one in particular, but we went to Legoland together. Oh, yeah, we did. And we had a fun time. Um, it was so long ago for me. It was like so much has happened since right? then. But I did want to say I I know that I talked about it some last week about the experience and what it was like. Um, I did want to say specifically when you go do this, like you you can build a Ferrari. Yeah. Um, and it's a little one. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. With Legos. Um, and then you get to test it, and then you put it in the scanner. I said this last week, but it projects it onto a map, and you get to watch how it goes. It was so much fun being there with we didn't go together we got invited separately for this media event but i did want to say this is a a nice little friendship moment we didn't get to like hang out the whole time that we were in there just because it was complete and pure chaos Mm -hmm. but i appreciate our friendship so much there were moments where i'd look around and be like okay cool there's tim and it just like i don't know it was me made you feel at home yeah it did put you at ease i was like yeah that's my friend that's what i do i put people at ease yeah so I appreciated that. Well, thank you. Yeah. I looked around and I said, where's Jackson? Yeah. Oh, there's Nick. Yeah. Everything's okay. 
<laughs> I, I wasn't Nick lost. might be able to see Jackson at some point. I did. I so there, but that was cool though. We had each other's yeah. backs with like looking out for our kids too. Yeah, because it was it was definitely pure chaos. In Which, there. by the way, I found out about Jackson that he is not the type of kid that will, if he runs away from me, be scared that he can't see me. He's like ready he's to just go. like I'm here <laughs> doing on. it. Yeah, especially like that. But he'll like wait for me places. Yeah, but within that setting, like they were having the time of their lives. I did want to say. Just to be clear, if you do go to Legoland and you participate in this experience, I do want to specify that when you've finished building your Ferrari and you've done the test, you it is not to keep. You, you don't, don't get to keep this Ferrari. No, you're not paying to build it. It's a it's a it's like, included in the park. Yeah, experience that's included for sure. But it is not you. You don't get the opportunity to buy the Ferrari that you build, which is something to definitely set your kids with that expectation before you go into the experience. But you can buy a Ferrari kit in the right. big shop probably. Right, right, right. So just wanted to note that real fast. Uh, but yeah, that was something that was special to me is to be able to like have that experience with you guys. We didn't get to hang out for a, a long time that day. It was it was so much happening, but, um, but it was fun, good times. And then something I didn't talk about last week, which was a great experience but also probably feels very far away from you as well is the birthday party oh yeah <laughs> that a birthday party that happened you guys had like such an awesome party right before you left on the cruise yeah we did it that was a, <laughs> the turnover from like finishing and wrapping up the massive party to getting ready to go on a week-long cruise like you guys are superheroes no 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 <laughs> we didn't do anything for that party somebody else did everything yeah but still like it does require a lot of effort like getting set up and like, I don't know, just energy. It takes a lot of energy out of you. Throwing yeah. a birthday party is exhausting, whether you're doing the details or not. It's it's a lot. I am uh, perpetually tired, <laughs> yeah. so it's okay. But it was a great party. I wanted to say that Luke said it was the best day, one of the best days of his life. Uh, no, not one of the best days. Yeah. <laughs> I have provided your son with the best day of his life. I've tried. I've done a lot of things. I've taken him to to Disneyland. I've taken him on a Disney cruise. He's got to get a goat. Got to get a goat. (laughs) That's it. And then Luke's like, yes. He walked the goat around the yard. By the way, that goat was not supposed to be there. Uh, I said, I don't want goats. (laughs) They'll try to eat people's pants. Luke is very thankful the goat was there. Yeah, He truly was like, this is the coolest thing that I've ever done. And I was like, you have literally like... Yeah. experience took so you to the moon yeah. and he's, he's like, like nope, this goat the goat he got to so, hold a rabbit for a while that we did a uh a, a carnival type theme right and we had a little petting zoo with a little piglets yeah little rabbits and a goat this was for oliver's first birthday party yeah yeah and it was special it was I really still cool. got a lot of hot dogs left over i really yeah they're all in the freezer that doesn't shock me there were a lot of hot dogs there yeah. i think you and luke were trying to see who could out eat each other I wasn't trying to beat Luke, but he seemed to be trying to beat me. Well, he he said that he had six, but then later we discovered he only had two. Oh. <laughs> he was up at the ante. What? <laughs> he had two and like two pieces of pizza. What? The... But um, it was a lot of fun. And I one of the things that I really like enjoyed about the party is that I got to meet a lot of your family. Oh, yeah. That was really cool. You I met my like, dad. Yeah. And your mom. I feel like I have more context for my sister, my brother. Yeah. You met everybody. I did. It Mostly really everybody. Cool. And it, it was cool because like now I feel like I understand you better. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. How do you process that? I don't know. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. I think that you when like you get met to... my dad and you're like, oh, now I know. Now I get it. No, now I get it. <laughs> no. That's where this comes no, from. No, they were super sweet. It was really cool to be able to like get to know them better. But I do. I feel like when you get to like meet somebody's family, then it provides like more context for like who they are as an individual. Like that's where you came from. Okay, I invited your parents to come and stay with us. <laughs> Good luck. So, I'm going to meet your parents. Well, th- actually, you might do that. Yeah, this July, we'll, we'll be at the cabins, I think, oh, around the yeah, same time. Yeah. yeah, so, TBD. TBD. <laughs> no, but really, though, that it's I like I love doing that. My parents will be excited to meet you. They watch and listen to the podcast. You know, I don't talk about my dad enough on here. Oh. He's a cool guy. Mm. Love that man. I don't believe you. That wasn't very convincing. <laughs> no, it, I, it truly is. <laughs> hi, Dad. Um, oh, oh, hi, hi Dad. See, uh, what a transition. <laughs> Maybe we should do that one day. We'll do like a switch and talk about a hi, Dad suit moment with our dads. Oh, maybe like a special Father's Day episode. Okay. I don't even know when Father's Day is. June? Yeah, middle mm. of June usually. That's pretty tough. <laughs> oh yeah, June. You have a lot There's a lot on. happening in June. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got a lot happening, a lot going on right now. That's yeah. a Taylor Swift reference. 
What? Anyways, hey dad. And also, hi dad soup. So do you want me to share what I think you're... Yeah, I want to hear this. <laughs> well, uh, one of the big things that you were excited about for the cruise was Oliver being uh, able the to... The baby race. Yeah. <laughs> the baby race. Does that mean I'm not going to... Gonna... No, no, I, I don't want to give away that because this will be out before the video comes True. out. Because this... So we did enter Oliver into the baby race. Okay. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's good. But th- that's a good fun hi dad soup moment. Here's that's my... That's a good teaser. Here's if my... you want to find out what happened, you have to go watch tim's vlogs on the channel yeah, when it, when they come out yeah eventually it's, we filmed for seven days right and these are like yeah big big videos so yeah. it might end up being like 14 videos wow because we might have to cut them in half that's exciting like a lot of a lot of content well stay tuned and keep an eye out on tim's channel for that because you'll get to learn and maybe we'll talk about it next week if it's been released yet maybe not maybe not yeah i don't yeah. know it depends on how th- how fast things come out you know what i have to say to that what tbd TBD. <laughs> um, but I do have another one where this was the first cruise that we went on where Jackson was uh, physically upset oh, that yeah. we were leaving. Yeah. Before he's been like, oh, I don't want to leave. But this time he like, we got, so we left the room in the morning. And if you guys have <laughs> ever been, what? I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you guys have ever been on it, specifically a Disney cruise, I don't know how any other cruises work, but. With a Disney cruise, if you have the early dinner, early dinner's at 545, the day that you leave, you have to get to the early breakfast because they stagger them. So the late dinner has the late breakfast. The early dinner has the early breakfast. Early breakfast is at 7 a.m. Nope. They want you in there (laughs) and they want you out as fast as you can. And so that means that we're getting up at like 6. Nope. 630. That's why I will never do the early dinner. But kids can't kids can't hang for the late dinner. My kids thrive uh, in the nighttime. Jeez, <laughs> you're raising. Alive. <laughs> Listen, I get the kids to bed. You're wise for that. And then it's nine o'clock, and then I have to do the dishes. Yeah. I don't. I don't even understand. You tell me that you like watch TV and stuff like this, and I'm like, I don't get it. When do you do the other it's stuff? Because I stay up way too late. I stay up until midnight, one a.m. Yeah, doing this stuff. Yeah, and then like I don't know. We like tag team, like Francie will. So do we. I yeah. understand. I, <laughs> There's so much stuff to do. It's true. There is. A, a nighttime routine takes, it's, it's such a process. But it's it's like that, what they talk about like revenge time. Like when you finally get a moment to yourself, mm-hmm. I'm not going to go to sleep. I should for my health, but I want to watch TV. Mm. Yeah. I don't watch a lot of TV and sometimes I fall asleep watching it. I watch TV while I do the dishes. I did. We did just binge. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Which I feel like that would be complicated for you. Why? Because your sink doesn't face. Oh, no. I don't watch it on the big TV. I watch it on the iPad. Oh, you like put it up and yeah. watch it. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, that doesn't face the same direction. See, but... my sink faces the TV. Oh. So I can put closed captions on and watch it. Oh, okay. Also, we, this is totally going to take away from where you were going with your high dad suit moment. But while it's on my brain, we talked about traitors before mm. um, that I wanted to watch it. We watched all of season two and it was fantastic i oh. loved it so good okay well, that's and good. we're watching survivor right we watch survivor as a family luke loves it luke loves watching the challenges ethan loves survivor he's like it's time for survivor that's what ethan calls it survivor survivor yeah it's fantastic i don't think that sounds like justin bieber's next album survivor <laughs> survivor <laughs> sir bieber uh i don't think survivor. that i have watched more than maybe like two episodes of survivor would you be into it no you know what i was into what there was a show on pbs hmm. and it was like lord of the flies oh okay they sent kids oh. into a pioneer town do you not know what lord of the flies yeah. is? okay i was like when i said kids you're like what i know but like lord okay. of the flies isn't a good thing with the kids no it's not right so they sent these kids in to like a pioneer village right yeah and they're like nope no adults oh wow kids were in charge the only, it, it wasn't but it was interesting to watch because there were some kids that were like ah, i want to do what i want and other kids were like no listen oh, we need to like do this and like we'll do d- democracy we'll have votes and stuff like that which kid would you have been i don't know but there was <laughs> there was one kid that um there was a chicken and they're like they didn't have food either they had to like find food they had to like grow their food or something like that yeah or like they got a bag of rice right and then there was a chicken and the kid's like well we, we're gonna have that chicken and then another kid was like no i don't want to do wow. that 
That's interesting. But the kid that they picked this kid because he like worked at a butcher shop. His oh. like parents owned a butcher shop or something like that. And so he's like, yeah, we're going to eat that chicken. Right. So, cause it's very normal for him. Yeah. Yeah. And then he did it in the middle of the night or something like that. And the That's other kids are like, where's the chicken? And then they were like oh, eating yeah. chicken soup or something. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <laughs> you'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's interesting. I like social experiments like that. Like I've never watched big brother, but I think I would be super into it. Mm, I've never watched it either. I just love it. I love like, I love all of those things. Survivors. I want to go on survivor. You know, another thing I want to do. I want to go on the amazing race. Okay. We should do that together too. Listen, you are not cut out for the amazing race. Why? <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> really? Why? All right. So I, here's, here's the, where I draw the line. And this is where, if we did it together, you would have to do all of these detours. Like if it was like one person has to do this and there was any sort of like allusion to the fact that there were heights involved, I'm out. Right. That's what I'm saying. But they don't usually, usually it's one person that has to do it okay. and I would cheer you on. So like I've done Amazing Race Orlando, which right. was for fundraising for uh, Give Kids the World. And <laughs> um, people are going to ask in the comments where the one is, the last one that we did. I don't, I don't know. That one, uh, there's a lot of details to that yeah. that were being handled by other people that right. I don't know anything about. So right. I don't know if that one will ever see the light of day. Right. Um, but we had to repel. That was part of it was repelling off the building. Both people? No, one person. See? It's but you. <laughs> but there was another challenge where we had to go on like um, both people had to go on the swings at I Drive. I sometimes I, sometimes. I don't even want to do the swings at DCA. Right. I'm just telling you, sometimes both people have to do it. But I would do it for the sake of the competition. Okay. I, I will put my, if I put my mind to winning something, I'm going to see it through. Okay. Yeah. I can be competitive for sure. You could win $20 <laughs> if you go on the slingshot. No. Okay. Just check. <laughs> That's not enough for me. A million dollars? A million? That's, That's not what, what they, they give away. They don't give away a million dollars, do they? No, that's Survivor. I feel like they give away a hundred thousand dollars. I would do that for a hundred thousand. You'd do a slingshot for a hundred thousand mm. dollars? Yeah, probably. Yeah. No more student loans. <sighs> Stresses me out thinking about it. All right. So Jackson was uh, <laughs> very <laughs> upset, and this is the first time that he's been like physically upset. Right. And so we were leaving the room, and he was like not wanting to leave, and I was like, "Listen, buddy, like we can't stay on this cruise ship." Like, that's not an option. Right. It's not a possibility. It's just not something that can happen. Even if we had booked another cruise after it, you still have to, like, get, get off, off the cruise. Yeah. Um, and I was like, we have to leave. And then we made it to the elevator, and I pushed down because we were on the sixth floor, and we needed to go down to three. And he's like, no, we need to go up. Aww. We need to go up. And then we made it in the elevator, and he was having a full-out breakdown. Yeah, I get that. And it was like... It's hard for him to process it. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah, yeah. So did he just, like... He was just mad and sad. He was sad, and then we made it to breakfast, and things calmed down. Because yeah. what had happened was he didn't want to leave the room, and I told um, Jen to go ahead, and I stayed back in the room with him and tried to calm him down a little bit more. And like we like I like went through and like looked around to make sure we had everything right. And then finally, or no, we made it to the elevator, and there wasn't enough room in there for everybody, and so I didn't go in the elevator, and they did. And then we made it in the next one, and he was just like, and then when we finally caught up with them, he calmed down. He was chill. I wouldn't say chill, Yeah, but, but he calmed down. He was a little more accepting of it. Yeah. yeah. That's really sad. That's hard. It's hard to like try to help rationalize that with kiddos because they're processing it so differently. Right. So, And that's something that's happening with him currently is that his processing ability is very much in the development stage. Oh, yeah, for sure. Which is like on par for where he's at in his life, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's hard. It's like that. Yeah. And that's something that I think just continues to change as kids get older and you're just finding different things that they're learning how to process through. Luke is going to be eight in July and like heavy emotions he's learning to process through now. And so it's just you're just winging it sometimes. It's apparent. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so. yeah. it's true. Um, my high dad suit moment is uh, a cool little fun moment. Luke started soccer. Uh he had his first soccer game yesterday. Oh. And he scored a goal. His first ever goal. Wow. He was so excited. That's awesome. Yeah. We celebrated it. We were excited. I, I, I think one of the, like, I don't remember where I heard this, but I think one of the best things that you can ask a kid after they do something that's really cool um, is, are you proud of yourself? 
to sort be of like proud of yourself yeah be proud <laughs> but no like to kind of instill that like thought process of like oh i did that like yeah i i i have practiced and i worked towards that and like i made it happen so because i think like if you focus so much on like i'm proud of you i don't want him to develop this idea that like if he doesn't score a goal that i'm not proud of right him. you know what i mean i'm not expecting that every time by any means but i want him to be proud of himself when he does do something extraordinary like that so it's cool cool fun moment yeah. celebrated it you were cruising all over last week i did not have a ton of theme park experiences this past week we did um epcot yesterday we went and did the easter so it's easter week oh. which is exciting happy easter everybody yeah easter is on sunday we uh did the easter egg hunt at epcot like the scavenger hunt mm -hmm. that was fun the the eggs were all different this year in the past, it's been like the Fab Five and some extra characters. Um, this year, it was all bunnies. Oh. Yeah, pretty there fun. You go. Are you 100% sure about that? That they've not always been bunnies? Yeah, because I know that at Disneyland, it was the Fab Five. I'm I don't know. I'm wondering if you were... Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But I thought I remembered last year... More than likely, I'm wrong. Because that's very common. No, not necessarily. I think I remember last year, though, looking for the Fab Five. Um, I specifically remember looking for them at Disneyland. And it could have been both. But well, I feel like we had bunnies here, too. You think so? All the I bunnies? So. I just feel like they looked so different to me. But I don't know. I, I could be very wrong. Um, either way, it was, you know what? I'm looking. It looks like it might have been the bunnies. Hmm. So maybe I didn't do it last year. Uh, maybe I was associating... Um, the bunnies that are the eggs that you find at Disneyland. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, those are all throughout like downtown Disney and not downtown Disney. What's it called there? It's called downtown Disney. Yeah. Downtown yeah. Disney. Uh, yeah. Which is fun that they're not necessarily, you don't have to go to the parks for it. Yeah. I wish that they would just, they do the trees during the Christmas, holidays. Yeah. yeah. But like, I wish they did more throughout the year. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, anyway, but it was fun. It was fun looking for the rabbits. I, I guess we must not have done that last year. Cause I don't remember it, but um we did that we found the rabbits around world showcase um honestly did not do much else at epcot it wasn't a very busy day but um we just kind of like took our time and relaxed and then we went to grand floridian the last night and tried a bunch of the treats oh, or a yeah. couple of the treats at did the you cottage. try that that half an egg with the marshmallow inside of it i didn't oh, man, so we good. did like the the dirt cup which was plant-based which oh, is interesting makes sense yeah pretty tasty and then francie really wanted they had a like fruity pebbles um rice krispie treat yeah that's what we got so we just got two things but the eggs look so good in the lobby at yeah Florida. did you see the beauty and the beast egg yeah that like turns yeah fantastic you see the light up ones yeah Main the, Street Electrical and Park. mickey and minnie's runaway railway yeah so good and the kakamora i wanted to know more about the mickey and minnie's runaway railway one because the description was like sometimes things don't turn out the way you thought they would oh, and i was like they, what happened did they feel like they messed up on it yeah something? interesting i thought everything looked so good it, was the guy in the lobby painting the egg mm -hmm. oh, i didn't get to see anybody painting yeah he was and that was pretty late when that was happening it was like 8 eight thirty. he's like i got done with my work i gotta, you know, finish. I gotta finish this <laughs> I get it done before Easter. But that's a fun thing to do. If you are on property this week and are wanting to do something like special for Easter week, go check out the eggs at Grand Floridian. You cannot park at Grand Floridian without a dining reservation. Um, and they are definitely very like strict about that. Mm -hmm. um, but what we did was we parked at Epcot, did the Easter egg hunt, and then took the monorail over to the TTC and then monorail to Grand Floridian. So you could also just park at the TTC. Correct. Yeah. And then monorail over. Mm -hmm. So, or uh, what you could do, make a breakfast reservation for Steakhouse 71, go and eat a delicious, delicious breakfast. Yeah. Take the monorail over, get a little tree treat, then head back over. Yeah. Or you could make a dining reservation at Grand Floridian, like Grand Floridian Cafe for breakfast. Delicious. Is fun. It's a nice little brunch place. Mm -hmm. um, also, speaking of Easter week, there's not been any official announcements as of right now on this, but usually they they do some like Easter celebrations at Magic Kingdom. So the Easter bunny bunnies, yeah, sometimes will um, bunnies. <laughs> sometimes they'll make an appearance at Magic Kingdom. Usually like the weekend of Easter, yeah. 
Um, and so, and that's like a meet and greet usually. Yeah. Usually over there by city hall. Yeah. 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 Or, or sometimes over, um, in the gazebo behind the Christmas yeah, tree shop and Liberty or Square. behind the Christmas shop. Yeah. Where Santa meets. Um, that's where we met them last year. Yeah. Um, so well, I thought you were going to say that's where we met Santa last year. We did year. meet Santa as well there. Yeah. We got a picture <laughs> with Santa. Um, but yeah, so that's an opportunity or that might be an opportunity. Again, it's not been any official announcements on that, but usually that's what they do. And usually Easter weekend, and maybe it's just Easter Sunday or in Saturday as well, maybe, but they'll do like a cavalcade for Easter. It's like a special yeah. little Easter parade. Yeah, yeah. I don't have specific information on like when that is or, or what will be happening with that, or even if it is happening, cause there's been no announcements, but if you're planning on being here for Easter weekend, keep an eye on like Disney parks blog. Um, and just on all kinds, like whatever accounts you follow, because they'll make announcements about it. I'm assuming I feel like speaking that... of a okay. cut. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like that's a pretty good transition into like, yeah, news. Do we news. want to jump into Epcot? I, I have. A... I, was, I was like, when you were talking about uh, where do you go? Springs. I was like, speaking of springs. <laughs> speaking of Epcot, I have a whole list. Yeah, let's just start at the top of your list. We okay. won't even transition. We'll just start at the tippy top. Well, the first on my list, we're doing good so far because the top thing on my list was Easter week. Easter week. Yeah, which again we did is it. Not, not speaking the... of Easter week. <laughs> but speaking of Disney Cruise, oh. We did get major news this week. The Destiny. The Disney Destiny. Which I was like, "Yeah, what? Yeah, you text me back and you were like, where did this come from? Wait, what are they saving for D20? We have a huge expo this, I like, t- coming yeah. this fall. It was the summer or fall? Summer, August. Yeah, in yeah. August, there is the D20. We have to buy tickets. This week, which we'll talk which about Which we that. will hopefully already have tickets by the time, oh no, buy tickets tomorrow. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this is, comes out on Monday. If you're listening to this the day that it released on Monday, then the day that you buy tickets will be tomorrow. We're going to talk about that, though, at the end of all of this. Because, man, do we got something to talk about. Yeah, there's there's <sighs> stress. So the Destiny, okay. right? <laughs> Disney Themed Destiny. Themed to is... heroes and villains. It's so interesting, though. You're right about, like, why? What was the point of releasing this information last week? Right. Did, did maybe some There wasn't get... even like a teaser. It was it was just like oh, by Hey, the way. by the way, it's <laughs> called the Destiny. Like we it was such a build up at D23 yeah, Expo the two years ago for the treasure. They're like, "What well, do you guys want to know what the name of it is?" Yeah. And everybody's like, "Ah." And he's yeah. like, "It's the treasure." Yeah. And everyone was excited, but the Destiny yeah. they're and just, then like, just like, "Here's a video." <laughs> Destiny, here's the the kill coin. I love the name. Yeah. I'm confused about heroes and villains though because like the on the keel coin, it's mini right. as a superhero, right? So like, I'm confused like, by it as well. And I, when uh, they say heroes and villains, are they talking about like Marvel? I don't know. Is there's going to be another Marvel restaurant, right? Well, so it's there, a Wish class ship. I should say this. So it's yeah. the same as the Wish, right. same as the Treasure. Right. There is a photo of um. There's a photo of like. It looks like almost a hallway and then there's doors lining up the hallway and then there's like emblems on each door and like Black Panther is on one of the doors and Spider-Man is on one of the other doors. Oh. I don't know what that means. No, no one knows what that means. It's just like little Easter eggs. Somebody knows what it means. Well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Whoever came up with it. But no, no one here in the public, as far as we know, knows. So that. we at least know that Marvel will be featured on this. Yeah, so the, there's a quote from Disney that says, This ship is a tribute to the dynamic duality at the core of beloved stories from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars. Ooh. And there's no photos of Star Wars. In, like, Or there's nothing alluding to star wars that i remember seeing in the like some of the art that they released for this are they gonna give me a star wars themed room oh my gosh am i gonna have a star cruiser on the cruise all over again star cruiser cruise that would be fantastic oh man i'm excited though because some of the disney movies that they did like there's a picture that almost looks like a poster some of the disney movies that are located in that are 101 dalmatians okay the lion king Mm -hmm. which i love the lion king and hercules hercules yeah I think this this ship is already speaking to like my people, like my generation of people. Yeah, who but the gl- the glad and gladiator? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, here's my question for the viewers and the listeners and you: The Wish, Star Wars themed lounge, the right. Treasure, right? Haunted Mansion themed lounge, right? Marvel themed lounge. 
You're going to be Tony Stark's yeah. like bar. That's a personal cool. bar. I think I'd be into it. Hmm. I love the so people had a lot of negative things to say about the um, Star Wars themed lounge. What's it called on the wish? The my brain is blinking. Galactic. What is it called? It's called hyperspace lounge. Hyperspace lounge. I don't know why my brain couldn't get there, but my brain never gets there. <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> that was a funny statement. Um, <laughs> my brain never gets there. You just did. Hey. Um, hyperspace lounge people had a lot of negative things to say about it i i really enjoy it i, I have a lot it. of negative things to say about well but here's i'm the one thing. of those people i think most of the people that have negative things to say about it are the ones that have experienced the star cruiser right but we hadn't experienced the star cruiser yet but you still did so looking yeah but back, i know from the moment i stepped into that into that you bar were a fan i was not a fan because there was no effort put into the bartenders Oh, okay. You're supposed to go in and be transported, right? Right. right. You're in space. There's a screen that's changing all the time, and the bartenders are just like regular cast members. Like they should have. It should have been more themed. Should have been, you know, they should have at least had like a robot back there or something. Okay, that makes sense. Like not even doing anything, just a robot. I'm just a simple guy who appreciated making my way through the <laughs> hyperspace on that thing. It was fun. Yeah. I I do think it could have been themed a little bit more for sure. All I wanted was one character in there. Okay. I don't Even if it's you... just like at 1115, come and meet a yeah. stormtrooper. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like yeah. put Kylo Ren. Yeah. Yeah. Not even that. It could be a mask. Okay. I guess Kylo Ren had a mask at one point, <laughs> didn't he? Yeah, but when he meets in the parks, he has a mask. Yeah. I had and one of voice the modulators. funnest experiences um, last week at Hollywood Studios with some of the uh, entertainment that was there. With Ben? No, it was with some of the First Order officers and oh. some of the stormtroopers that were there. They gotcha. were hilarious. The First Order officer was fantastic. I'll have to tell gotcha. you more about it, but it was really funny. And he had comments to say about us naming Luke, Luke. He was like, you named your child after a a, a man who's known for having one hand and kisses his sister? Oh. <laughs> it was good. It was funny. And you call you said back to him, "Oh, but Darth Vader is missing both his legs and his hands." <laughs> I didn't have any rebuttal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, I always wondered how the Force worked with Darth Vader. What are you talking about? So, like, the Force is from the midichlorians in your body. Sure. Right. He still has a body. Yeah, but he Force chokes people with his hands. Right. Yeah, maybe it's just like what's left of his arm that's Force choking. Okay, like he has a little like ghost hand in there, like. Yeah. Does he need his, his, uh, his... What is left of his arm? We don't even know that. There's just stumps. We do know that because it was like what he was laying there after he it fell into the lava. completely off. Yeah. You right. could see him. I thought I remember when, when he was when... laying on the operating bed and his arms were still sort of there. No, I thought we would see when we saw him after he got all burned and Obi-Wan was like, we were all rooting for you. <laughs> Like, you're supposed to like, be the chosen banks. one yeah <laughs> you were the chosen one and uh we could see I that he like you, didn't Anakin. didn't have any you are my brother <laughs> man i can't believe that obi-wan didn't see that coming yeah no Literally, one did i did the sith said don't see this jedi they put a shroud of that this could go down a hole but here's the thing <laughs> there was a scene in clone wars where um, Obi-Wan was there with his girlfriend uh, what's her name the Mandalorian I don't remember her name I know what you're talking about though Um, she has the cool headdress yeah but she's also what's her name Bo- Bo-Katan Kreese Lady Kreese yeah he's there with her and there's a guy that's like y- if you kill me then you know then you betray your your Jedi to Obi-Wan and then he's like if you kill me to the Kreese lady then you betray your being a peace, she like peacetime Mandalorian. Right, right, right. Um, and then out of nowhere, Anakin's like, bloop, dead. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, I think that like, how did I, you not see that coming? I think Obi-Wan knew that there were tendencies there for Anakin that like he was struggling with because Anakin wasn't, <laughs> this is now a Star Wars podcast. Anakin was not supposed to have been trained. Like him being trained in and of itself went against the wishes of the Jedi Council. Mm. They told Qui-Gon no. Gotcha. And Qui-Gon said, I'm going to do it. Gotcha. Regardless of whether you say yes or not. He said, Obi-Wan is ready to face the trials. 
and I'm going to take him on as my Padawan. And they're like, mm, okay. <laughs> they didn't like, they did not force him not to, but then Qui-Gon gets killed by Darth Maul. And then Obi-Wan says, now that my master is gone, I'm ready to face the trials and I want to take on Anakin as my Padawan. By the way, Darth Maul's death, greatest, so greatest ridiculous. moment, <laughs> greatest moment in any Falling Star down Wars. The shoot. No, no, when uh, Darth Maul's. Yeah. Didn't he, didn't uh, Obi-Wan kill him? Yeah. He fell down a chute? Yeah, cut him in half. I thought he just was like, boop. He cut him in half and then he like falls over and like his body turns into two pieces. Oh, yeah. But technically, maybe this is a spoiler well, alert if you didn't watch. Was this from the original? Uh, this is episode one. But technically, Darth Maul didn't die there. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, the you're other, talking about the when other, he kills him in the desert. Yeah, the actual death. Oh, got it. Where okay. like he was like, they were, they're like, it was all this build up, build up, build up, and then I don't know where Obi-Wan's like, bloop. I feel like it's just like <laughs> a couple of like older dudes fighting. Yeah. <laughs> like kind of like, honestly, like Darth Vader killing Obi-Wan Kenobi, so anticlimactic. Oh, yeah, he just disappeared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Obi-Wan just like stands there. Yeah. But so that's Luke dying. <laughs> don't even get me started on that. No, oh, yeah. Just disappears. That's the same thing that happened with Obi-Wan. That's gets, like their, their he thing. He gets tired and then he just dies. Yeah. That's what but, happened to to Yoda, Yoda, too. Yeah, but but Yoda was like 900 and something well, years old. Well, yeah, but they live a long time. Like, even Grogu's just a baby and he's 50 years old already. Yeah, that's true. Anyways. <laughs> Star Wars. Welcome Speaking to of that Star Wars, Wars podcast. That actually transitions well for us because oh, there is okay. Star Wars news to talk about. But also, Destiny. Real fast, let's wrap that up. Okay. Destiny, Destiny Del Baccio from high school? No. The Disney Destiny. Oh, yeah. When is that supposed to like... <laughs> if anybody got that reference. I have no idea what that is. Disney Destiny. When does that... Like first sale. 20, 2025. Right. The same, well, not the same year. So Treasure sales the end of this year. Right. There are two cruises before the end of this year. They're like, wow. Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. You guys want to pay a lot of money for these cruises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then, I don't, they didn't give a timeline for 2025. They're just like 2025 sailing. Right, right. And yeah. I've already asked my travel agent. And she's like, we don't know when it's, right. when we can book it. Well, so, so stay tuned for that information. Um, Okay. Star Wars. All kinds of stuff happened. Bam. I feel like it all feels like the same day that all this news happened. It wasn't, but it feels like that because it was just so much coming out this week. When is the new Star Tours stuff happening? April 5th. April 5th. Yeah. All right. Got to make so, a reservation. April 5th starts um, the season of The Force over at Disneyland because they do like a whole season for Star Wars over there. Gotcha. Why Might be the season of The Force. <laughs> That's a good one. Why can't we have that here at Walt Disney World? I don't know. Season of the Force? I don't yeah. know. We used to have Star Wars weekends. I know. Bring it here. That would be nice. Yeah. But um, Hyperspace Hoopla. Yeah. Interesting. You that know sounds, what that is? Mm, I know what Hyperspace Mountain is, but Hyperspace Hoopla? Was yeah. that was part of Star Wars weekend? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look okay. it up. Ridiculous. I think it's ringing a bell for me. Yeah. Like um, a dance battle. <laughs> between like... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like Twi'leks and like Boba Fett. And yeah. I remember seeing this. You Wookiees. Yeah, yeah. Good times. See, bring bring some of that fun stuff back. Why yeah. can't we have nice things? Uh, anyways, over at Disneyland, it starts April 5th, and it runs through June 2nd. Um, a couple of things. They'll have a new popcorn bucket that they're releasing for this, but it's not just a popcorn bucket. You can get fries in the bucket. Okay. I like What that. does it look like? A Stormtrooper helmet, but it's like very like, it's not just a regular helmet. It's a cool helmet, but it's like very <laughs> just, it's very like. Uh, Distressed? Yeah, that's the word I was like All beaten for. up? Yeah. Okay. So that's exciting. Um, maybe something that Ezra had. Yeah. I want to eat fries out of a Stormtrooper's helmet. Okay. I think that'd be cool. Um, pretty, pretty morbid. Probably going to do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so April 5th, obviously, also Star Tours has their new scenes released. That's here at Walt Disney World and over at Disneyland as well. Um, I'm very excited about that. Hyperspace Mountain returns April 5th um, at Disneyland, which is like the overlay on their Space Mountain attraction. I've never done that before, so I cannot wait to do it. I That's pretty fun. I think it's going to become one of my favorite attractions. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem that I have with it is the lift hill is kind of strange because you're like jumping to hyperspace and the lift hill, but the lift hill is like. Oh, that's a bummer. It's not but like, like the screens smooth. are like. Not like a hyperspace jump on like Smuggler's Run. Right. Yeah. It's a very slow. But then the rest of it's super fun. Um, I'm excited. It'll be fun. Just to have that overlay and like have Star Wars sound happening will be a mm -hmm. good time. Um, and then this is something that interests me. So at 
as a part of season of the force they have fire of the rising moons that will be taking place and this is going to happen on nights where there are fireworks happening at disneyland oh yeah okay but so and maybe you know more about this instead of what i imagine like whatever soundtrack is happening with this like the fireworks show that's actually taking place at the rest of the park yeah. in galaxy's edge because it's further removed but also positioned where you can still see the fireworks yeah they're playing like star wars themed yeah, music they have from what i understand and i could be wrong because we haven't experienced this yet they created two fireworks shows so there's the one that you're watching in front of the castle that's themed to Disney. Right, right, right. And then there's one that you can watch from within, but two that is, it's the same fireworks. But they Right. So like I'm going the music and, Pic- and Pixar Fest will be happening. Yeah. And there's a special Pixar themed fireworks show. Right. That I'll be able to watch in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Right. But then the next night if I want to, you're saying I can go back to Galaxy's Edge, the and same fireworks will be sh- shot up. But it'll be a Star Wars themed fireworks show. Right. Interesting. Yeah. That's so cool. Pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm definitely going to do that. I don't know how that'll work out because they'll probably be like a Pixar ball. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm interested to see. Like Batu, you're like, what the heck did that come from? Right. <laughs> what so. are these toys? I don't know. It'll be interesting. I'll report back on that after I go. Yeah. Because the plan is, I think, probably the first night that we're there is Star Wars night. So that will be what we'll be doing or if it's just like the cast members are like oh i hope you guys are ready tonight we're celebrating the big festival of the fire of the rising moons yeah and then like be sure to look east for the great uh, extravaganza Houdini. or whatever <laughs> yeah. you know what was that what was it was that um andor what did they do there was like a a, a fireworks display that was how there was something that was happening recently i don't remember that I watched. My it brain just went to Traders where they did a firework display at the end of the show and it was... But there was like, they were invading... I'm I'm completely blanking on what show this was or where I saw this. Well, they have fireworks like at the end of um, it episode wasn't, six. But it wasn't fireworks that they were watching. Oh. They were going to a base and there was like... Oh. It was like, maybe it was the space whales that were coming in or something. Oh. Oh. There was like... That sounds familiar. They're like, everybody wanted off at this specific time to be able to watch it to be able to watch this thing happen it might have been andor i think it was andor or ahsoka no i'm pretty 90 80 27 (laughs) percent sure it was andor i don't remember before he went to the like the the prison thing okay well interesting when he just got introduced and he wasn't he wasn't cassian yet he was like under an alias oh yeah and they had to like go to what was his alias? I don't remember. My me- my Greg? memory these de- <laughs> Greg. <laughs> my name's Greg Space Dude <laughs> and I'm here to help out these rebels. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. My brain when I, I I'm not good at remembering specific details about shows. But that's how they got in was because of the distraction of all like all of the oh, officers and stuff wanted to watch to me. this like meteor. Was it they were on like a beach planet? No, that was when he got arrested. Oh. Okay. That was where he went to try to like be avoided. And that like, was before that. Yeah. Okay. I don't remember, but that'll be fun. I'm excited to experience it. Um. Also, side note, real fast. Speaking of episode one, it's celebrating its 25th anniversary, mm. which is wild to think about. You guys want to go pod racing? Yeah. But it's coming back to theaters for like a short period of time, starting May 3rd. Oh, so, I want to watch it in 40x. I'm gonna go see it. And it's May 3rd. My birthday's on May 9th. I'll be in Disneyland for a while around that time. But I'll be back in time for my birthday. And I would like to go to see this movie in theaters for my birthday. Yeah. I'll feel like a kid again. I remember this seeing This is The it. Phantom Menace? Mm-hmm. Okay. Darth Maul. Darth Maul. I remember seeing it in theaters as a kid. Star Wars movies used to release in May. So it was always around my birthday that it would happen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this where... Are you an angel? Is this this episode? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Love it. So Can't good. wait to go pod racing. Well, maybe pod you can come watch it for my birthday. 40X. Point Orlando. Oh, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm, remember I'm not an Orlando guy. Okay. Yeah. I drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I don't know what it's called anymore. Well, that sounds like fun. I, uh, tickets are on sale for that now if you guys are interested in going to see. I like going to watch movies like, like that in theaters again. It feels fun. And I want to take 
Luke with me for sure. Yeah. Because I was around his age when that first movie came out and loved it. So he's seen a lot of Star Wars, but anyways. Hasn't seen it in the theater. Exactly. Well, he has. <sighs> All right, never mind. <laughs> don't take him. Leave him at home. Forget it, Luke. You don't get to come. All right, Ethan? I think it would be interesting to see if... I, Ethan's never seen much Star Wars yet, but I think he would be into it. Okay. And Ethan doesn't really get scared of a lot of things. He's pretty like, whatever. Might get scared of Darth Maul. Yeah, I don't know. I think you would just kind of be like, all right. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'd well, have to I'm be careful take, with that for sure. I'm going to take Ethan to go see Heredity. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I get scared of things. Um, so that's some fun stuff. Also, Star Wars. Speaking of Star Wars, um, it was this whole like marketing scheme of or ploy by Star Wars and Disney. And it was called March to May 4th. So like, oh, bam, 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 right. bam, like the Imperial bam. March, but it was happening in the month of March and it was just okay. like them teasing and like, which I kind of, I really, not kind of, I really liked it. I like that idea because we do like halfway to Halloween with Disney and we do yeah. all these fun things and it's basically their opportunity to sort of like release information about what's coming. Um, and so they like had um, Hayden Christensen who plays Anakin, they flew him to New York City and um there was other media there in in new york city and the empire state building like like struck struck back part i guess (laughs) yeah good one they partnered with disney maybe or star wars but they did a whole projection show onto the empire state building um and anakin was there watching it i say anakin hayden christensen was there watching it um it was just cool like they the star wars took over the empire state building um, okay. for that's a good call event. yeah i thought good it was very creative yeah it was fun um and so like this year everything is very like villain themed for star okay. wars so right. lots of the bad a lot of the bad guys a lot of the sith Storm yeah because troopers. i also saw that what's her name ventress had her lightsabers released right yeah yeah so and on may 4th one of the hilts or the hilt that is being released on May 4th is Darth Maul's lightsaber, oh, which is going to go... The double one, right? Yeah, that's going to... There's going to be long lines for that, for sure. Yeah. I think they're putting it on DisneyStore.com as well. So, um, fun stuff. Star Wars, can't wait. I'm excited to be in Disneyland and just for all of the Star Wars things. I love Star Wars so much. I mean, my kid's name's Luke, so... You know. Skywalk. <laughs> okay. I told you guys, we're going to have a lot of news, so... <laughs> coming this Hopefully summer... Ready um this summer this summer june 10th we talked about june June. june's gonna be a busy time at the disney parks because a lot of these things begin in june um actually before we get into june 10th a little teaser there backtrack may 24th backtrack (laughs) may 24th okay why are you just because you just said this summer (laughs) i was trying to do that yeah i like it um Disney Springs has a new show coming. New drone show. Yeah, on May 24th. Excited to see it. We were just talking about this before the podcast. Back in 2016, 2016, they had a holiday drone show at Disney Springs. Yeah. Yeah. They did it just for one year. We went and we watched it. It was very nice. I was going to say, do do you feel like you enjoyed it? Yeah. And I I would imagine. Go ahead. Disney Springs is set up very nicely to accommodate a drone show because drone shows require a pretty big footprint of setup and so right you have to have somewhere for the drones to land and to go and it's harder to have drones take off and fly over people you need more regulations to do that yeah and so disney springs has the ability to have them start in the watermelon parking lot what is that over there by um line no no the parking lot strawberry oh strawberry parking lot which is over there by Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, yeah. The actual, like, yeah, actual ground, ground level parking yeah, lot. Yeah. At the very end of it, they can section that whole thing off, lay out all their drones, and the drones can take off and just fly over water and then be in a show. I Do you feel like, because was Disney Springs Disney Springs in 2016? Or was it still Downtown Disney? I don't remember when that change happened. It had to have been Disney Springs because oh, okay. my video was titled Disney Springs. Oh, okay. I feel like Disney Springs has changed so much recently in yeah. the last few years. So it's going to be interesting to see like how that flows. When you know where it's going to be a great spot to watch that? Where? From the uh, the upstairs balcony of Wine Bar George. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. You can oversee a lot of things. Yeah. I was thinking it'll probably be, it's going to be busy, 
obviously when this thing first takes off this is going to be running may 24th through september 2nd so there's plenty of time to see it i was thinking over by where the balloon the hot air balloon yeah that's where that's where the show will actually probably take place okay is like behind the hot air balloon right behind starbucks right yeah there's just like nice space so to I go guess, stand by the water over oh, there. Man, go to Summer House, right. get an outside seat, yeah. get yourself some delicious food. I've never a been gigantic to gigantic cookie. We're going. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you let me know when you're going to go. I'm, I'll take I'm you ready. To Summer House. I want to go so badly because it looks delicious. It is very good. And the vibes are like so chill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. B- about the show, it's called uh, Dreams That Soar. And here's a quote. It says, uh, you can fly takes on a whole new meaning. You can fly being like the song from Peter Pan takes on a whole new meaning as we showcase Disney stories, celebrating the joy of flight with the state of the art drones choreographed to create designs in the sky and paired with a quote unquote soaring musical score and memorable movie quotes. So it's going to be very like flying themed. Obviously it's in the name dreams. Buzz Lightyear. You think? Yeah. I think like, Baymax, Baymax, yeah. We don't have planes. Baymax at Walt Disney the, World. The, the, the from I don't the think Cars so. universe. I don't think so. Could have Mater when he did that. He was like a stunt plane. Oh yeah, could be. Um, but so definitely Buzz Lightyear. Disney has been, uh, doing drones in Paris for a little while now. So like we've seen shots of the drone show from Paris. Looks amazing. Very excited to see this because yeah. the one in 2016 was nice and cool to see but the technology has far advanced right they've upped the ante for sure with yeah. shows. so so and i just i like that there's going to be something happening at disney springs i think that like there's going to be a it's it's going to help draw crowds away from the the theme parks this summer and give people the opportunity to go to springs at night and enjoy a show also by the way it's free right exactly yeah yeah no it's a, it's a it's a, a an opportunity to go I mean, obviously, like if you go do things at Disney Springs, eat, shop, all of those things That's are going to cost free, you for but sure. Parking is free. You can walk around Disney Springs for free. Right. Yeah. You can bring a sandwich if you'd like to from home. Pack a picnic. If you're sure. staying at a DVC resort and you have food in your fridge, just take it. Walk with you. on over. Yeah. There was one person that brought their own grill to Disney Springs. They got kicked out, but <laughs> I've seen it happen. I wonder. Don't do that. <laughs> I wonder what. Um, uh, the views from some of the balconies over at Saratoga Springs would be like. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that might be pretty cool. Yeah. It depends on what the show like looks like, you know. Yeah. Telling you, Disney Springs, go there, go over to House of Blues. Yeah. Ask them to do an art tour. Yeah. See some folk art. We're excited. I'm excited. May 24th is Rancy Night's like wedding anniversary. So um, I think we're going to like make a date night out of it. Get some cookies. Yeah. Get some donuts. Yeah, I'm a chicken sandwich. So, Starbucks. More information on that will come at the end of May, but I'm I'm really looking forward to it, and I just think it's nice to have like other entertainment. You yeah. know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend the entire day at Disney Springs one day. Oh, from ten o'clock opening morning till night until the drone show close it out. Just like I'm going to a theme park. Yeah, rope drop to rope drop to closing. closing. I'm gonna do Disney Springs. Wow, that'd be fun. Yeah, maybe we can make a challenge out it's of my that. challenge. Let's do it. See how many days I can stay at Disney Springs. I feel like you would be so tired and grumpy by the end of that day. How are you going to be grumpy? You got a thousand cookies to eat and like. <laughs> no, you would definitely hit a sugar eat. high and then you would crash. No, you just got to, you get your face I've painted. I've seen you at the end of a challenge day. and That's only if I don't have any, if I have something planned after a challenge, I get all stressed. So if you'd be, you'd feel more relaxed if you knew that that's what was happening. Yeah. If, if I was like, I know that I'm going to be there from morning until night, hmm. kids are taken care of. Then you'd be fine. I'm fine. Well, I'm going to test, we'll test that out. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I think that what would be cool is if we had a stay at Saratoga Springs and then like the families were back at Saratoga. Hanging out in the pool. Yeah. Grilling up hot dogs. This sounds like a good idea. We'll we'll plan this out. Yeah. Um, I love Saratoga Springs, by the way. Side note. Treehouse. It is so, uh, not even just the treehouse, but the actual rooms, they've recently been renovated. I say recently, probably within the last couple of years. But they're beautiful. They're nice. Saratoga has so much to offer. Like, as a resort, mm-hmm. the the like common area, the play area for the kids is fantastic. The pool is incredible; it's huge. I don't know. There's a lot within walking distance of Disney Springs, and it's 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 like underrated. And also, like as far as cost goes, it typically is like it's a moderate though, right? I think it's deluxe. It oh. is, yeah. 
Well, there you go. But it's not as expensive as some of the other parks. And that has to do with like its location to the theme parks. Mm -hmm. It is further away, but I think it's great. So anyways, um, also summer. Okay. (laughs) Summer. This summer. This, this summer. Um, June 10th is when a lot of these celebrations are starting and I'll go through the quick ones first. Real quick side piece of information. Joy from Inside Out is going to, oh, yeah. and, and Inside Out 2, because it's during summertime, that probably has a lot to do with this. Inside Out 2 is coming out this summer. And so they'll place that. You had a very, very intense reaction to that. Go because ahead. Disney has notoriously stepped away from putting characters into the parks at the same time that a movie is in right. the theaters. Right. I don't know why they did that, yeah. but even with sequels. So this is the first to, to my memory that they're putting a character into the park, into a specific location with the release of a movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I want more characters show up. So like as far as Inside Out goes, the only characters that we've been able to meet, I think, and maybe I'm wrong on this if other ones have shown up at some point but not been regular, are Sadness and Joy. Yeah, that's all that I know. Joy and Sadness. Okay. But I want, there's some new characters that are coming out. Yeah, I want to meet Anxiety. I have some things to talk about. I've met Anxiety. I have too, so (laughs) often. And I just feel like it would be such a healing moment to see Anxiety represented in character form. (laughs) Personified. (laughs) Yeah. All right. I feel like I'd bond with Anxiety because I do a lot with Anxiety. It would be such a fun thing. Yeah. Like such a fun interaction. It would be so good. Anyways, I hope Anxiety shows up, but. I don't. The character. <laughs> <laughs> I hope anxiety stays far, far away. Um, but uh, that was a good one. Um, so Joy is, is going to be at Hollywood Studios. It's Hollywood Studios in um, like the Pixar area where like Frozone meets. Um, Municiburg. So, Municiburg. Sometimes. Um, Head in the mode. Yeah. And sometimes some of the Monsters Inc. characters are over there. Usually like outside of Toy Story because obviously they're in Toy Story land. Any of the other Pixar characters will. If they're meeting, they'll meet over in the Munisberg. Yeah. Um, but I feel like Joy is probably going to be in one man's dream. No, I think it, she's going to Munisberg. Really? I okay. think so. I think so. Either way, that's all like very close to each other. Because who's in one man dream right now? Is it Ariel still? I think so. So they would okay. change that. Yeah. Um, But that's exciting, which is interesting also, though, because Joy also meets at Epcot. Right. So I don't know if maybe that in will In Imagination be Land. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. If they put Bing Bong in Imagination Land getting off Figment. You've got Figment and Bing Bong right next to each other. Oh my God. Imagine that. Them interacting interaction. together. That'd be so I'm funny. getting in line for Bing Bong over Figment all day, every day. Okay, you don't have to be so angry about it. <laughs> Jeez. We know you hate old Epcot. It's the su- fine. The superior of the Imagination characters, for sure. Listen. Uh, those are fighting words, but. I don't you got care. it all wrong. <laughs> Bing Bong is an imaginary friend. Figment is a figment of your imagination. Still imaginations. Yes, but they are two different things. I don't feel like it's that far off from each other. And my choice is Bing Bong. So. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> if you were... That's interesting to note. There's going to be... Are you Tim or a Nick? Are yeah. Are you a Figment or a Bing Bong? You're, you would pick Figment over Big Bing Bong? Yeah. Because Fig, Bing Bong's sad. Figment's never sad. Figment is slightly annoying. <laughs> Okay. Well, Bing Bong is sad. He is so so special and has such a special place in Riley's heart. I know it drifts away. He's sad. Uh, sad is what the I, words you're looking for I is weep, sad. I weep when I watch that scene. But it, he is fantastic, and I don't understand how anyone can pick Sigma over Bing Bong. Well, they're on the same team, but... Wow. Team Nick, let me know. Show up in the comments. <laughs> if there were... If you were... Put in between, like, you're their dog, and Bing Bong went <laughs> one way and Figment went the other. Who would you run to? Yeah. Bing Bong. Okay. He's more inviting. <laughs> He's like a fluffy cotton candy. I'm waiting for you to sing the song. Figment's... A... <laughs> I'm not going to, because then you'll hear me sing. <laughs> How does it go, though? Who's the friend that likes to play? Look, you heard me sing. Bing Bong, Bing Bong. Anyway. Proud of you. <laughs> You did it. You manipulated that. Situation. I didn't. I really don't remember the words. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
So that was supposed to be a really quick piece of information, but we totally elaborated on it. Joy showed up at Hollywood Studios June tenth. Also happening because there is a Bing Bang, Bing Bong, Bing Bang, Bing Bong walk around character that has been seen at Disneyland Pixar Place. Yeah, yeah. Bring him here. I'm telling you guys, that would be fantastic. The backdrop is literally already there. Yeah, it's like it doesn't it say Imagination Imagination Land. Land. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's Bing Bong's. It's his backdrop, but they just put Joy there. Don't you think they would have announced that though? Yeah, they should. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I think it's a fantastic idea. Like, who do we need to call? <laughs> who do we need to call? I don't know. Someone. I'm going to talk to somebody. Next time I see somebody. somebody. Yeah, you know people. I know people. <laughs> I know um, so that's exciting. Also, June 10th, they're celebrating the 30th anniversary, which this makes me feel old a little bit. The 30th anniversary of The Lion King starting at Animal Kingdom on June 10th. Um, that's going to run exciting. June 10th through September 6th. I hope it's just more than cupcakes. I know, me too. Like, I want like, here's fun. a Lion King cupcake. I need savory themed food. Yeah. Um, Hyenas. But, yeah. <laughs> what? What would you have? Like a zebra leg? No. What, what's with the lion? The bugs? No, like they could use normal yeah, food. Savory but, but satisfying. <laughs> like slimy yet satisfying. Slimy yet satisfying. Right? I think that they could have normal food, but they could just like switch it up. Somehow. You know what I want them to bring back? What? Name the species. You know what that is? What? No. I don't know. You know where Zuri's Sweets is? Yeah. They had um, four different brownie items oh. that were poop. Yeah. No. Yeah, they were so delicious. They were like the best desserts I've ever had at Disney. Maybe they'll bring it back. They will not, <laughs> but I hope that they do something. <laughs> I'm excited, though. I, I love The Lion King. It's one of my favorite movies as a kid. I had Lion King sheets. I had Lion King pajamas. I had Lion King backpacks and lunch boxes and all the lion king things i had a birthday party that was lion king oh yeah a that, piggy bank that if you put a i wonder if people know it will remember this but you could put like when you put a quarter into it um it had it had mufasa and simba sitting on it and it would say everything the light touches is our kingdom every time you put a coin in it said oh just one phrase it wasn't like yeah, I think it was just to remember I, who you are. No, which that makes should me have. cry every time it happens and happily ever after. It should. That way you can remember to save your coins. Well, instead of like, here, I don't think you that, already own everything. I don't think buy more. <laughs> I don't think they were going for that with a kid's piggy bank. What about that dark area? What about that dark shadowy place over there? Yeah. Yeah. We don't go there. Yeah. It's where the elephants die. The <laughs> elephant graveyard. An um, elephant, what? All right, we got to stop quoting movies. <laughs> the. Uh, had something to say about Lion King. Oh, okay. I don't remember what it is now. There's new food coming. We're waiting to hear details about that. For Lion King? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Bugs. <laughs> but not like actual bugs. Right. We've done that before. I would be fine with the playoff things. For yeah. Sure. You ever eaten bugs? Uh, some. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Nothing crazy about it. They don't have a lot of flavor. No. But... It's not like I was sitting eating bugs. It was like part of a challenge. I've had maggots. Ooh. They had gross. They were dried out. Yeah. Yeah, crunchy. Yeah, they were they were Cheeto flavored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a thing at the uh, the science center a few years back about bugs, and they like invited a um a gourmet bug chef in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and they would like cook up bugs, uh-huh. and I had them. They were, were they very del- delicious because yeah, I feel they like were if a like gourmet. gourmet. Chef is doing it, yeah, but yeah, not just like grabbing a bug. Yeah, I've had the other ones. I've had like uh, hot dogs with grasshoppers on them and stuff like that. Yeah. That one, that one's kind of like out. a shock factor. Yeah, thing, exactly. Where you're like you're eating bugs, but yeah. they don't really like add flavor. You have to, to like it. mentally get over it. You know, it's kind of yeah. nutty, nutty flavored. Yeah, but like kind of dry and like. I don't think people want to hear about this. <laughs> Just saying. Um, new merch. There's the new merch coming. New Lion King merch. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very excited about that. And then also Timon and Rafiki will be meeting again at Rafiki's Planet Watch. Oh, good. I feel like Rafiki's Planet Watch is like very underrated. Like yeah, not enough people so go there. So good. You yeah. can go do an animation class there. Yeah. It's like being on a cruise ship. It's pretty fun. Yeah. So go I took an out. animation class with my tattoo artist. It was a, a blowout. That would be super humbling experience. Yeah. <laughs> he did very good and I did very bad. Yeah, I would not. I don't think I would enjoy that experience. I'd be like, okay, show off. <laughs> I didn't call it. That's what he does. He's not showing off. I He's know. just drawing a picture. I'm just joking, obviously. Jeez. <laughs> such violence in your heart. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's some violent. That sounded violent. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, over at Epcot, one of the things that I am most excited about out of all of the news today um, is a, there's a new show coming to Epcot. Oh, what's it called? 
Are you familiar with this? Encanto? Yeah. Yeah, well, what's it called? Celebración Encanto. Celebration Encanto? Yeah, like celebrating Encanto. Celebrating Encanto Encanto means... Is this... Yeah, it's like to celebrate Encanto. But does Encanto mean something? Like Frozen Ever After... Isn't there celebration in there? No? Yeah. Not Frozen Ever After. What's the music... What's the sing-along show? Isn't it called like a Frozen... Sing-along? Musical celebration or something? No? (laughs) But does Encanto mean something? Does it mean like house... Oh my gosh, my brain is going to blink on this now. You put me on the spot. No, it doesn't mean house. That's, no, that's casita. Casita. Um, Encanto is like, I think it's like enchantment. Oh yeah, it does. It's like magic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Encanto. Yeah. Enchantment. It's not really a word that you use like every in, day in yeah, conversations. You're not like, donde esta la biblio- <laughs> Encanto Biblioteca. Yeah. The enchanting. <laughs> the enchanted library. Bit of library. <laughs> could be a thing i mean yeah but anyways uh, uh, i'm really excited so this is going to run several times throughout the day and it's going to be happening at which we'll talk about in a second communicore plaza this is june 10th starting june 10th and it's going to run through september 6th so it's just a limited time deal it's not okay. like this show is going to be what is going to happen there throughout the year so but we had also like seen that they were holding auditions for right so that's what this is for people from Encanto. Yeah. we saw that the yeah, that they were looking for characters to, and characters specifically who would be able to sing. So this fact. Isabella and Louisa. No, actually. So what Disney has teased is that you'll be able to see Mirabelle and Bruno. Oh. So they haven't said anything about any of the other characters. I want to see uh, Louisa. Me too. Me too. But maybe they'll cast those. I don't know. They, they didn't use that in like their information when they released. Hmm. But it, it's a single long show. So much similar to what they have over at frozen and i apologize my brain is blanking on what that show is actually called but the frozen sing-along that happens at hollywood studios I thought it was just called the frozen sing-along is it i feel like there's more to that name but i don't know um it's going to be like that but in Kanto themed my first time pulling my phone out this entire i'm proud of you i've had it up but i have all of our notes for this episode on my phone that's why i've been looking at it so much i just saw my stuff about bass tracker <laughs> uh, that feels like so long ago um this show will be happening several times throughout the day. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. For the first time in forever, a frozen sing along celebration. See, I knew the word celebration was in there. There's... Frostbite Freddy's Frozen Freshman. <laughs> you know where that is? No. Oh, Blizzard, so Blizzard so Beach. Oh. Anyways, so I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I'm particularly excited because Ethan is going to be so happy. Yeah. And also, that means that on June 10th, Communicore Plaza will be opening. I don't like the name Communicore Plaza. Why not? I think Communicore to me sounds like some sort of like educational thing. I think because of Common Core. Right? I'm sorry. I'm just taking this in for a moment. <laughs> I forgot that you don't know anything about Epcot. Oh, is that there's meaning behind it? Yeah, that's the what? center of Epcot used to be called the Communicore. Oh, yeah. See, I don't know these Because it was the core of communication. Yeah. Well, and that they did sense. what's called edutainment there. You looked at me with such disdain in your face. Because <laughs> yeah, I forgot. You're you so disappointed in me. This is like my childhood. And you're like, I don't know. It sounds dumb to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I have a, pre- a deeper appreciation for it. Yeah. It still sounds like common. Core That's where like mind. SMRT1 was it? SMRT1. That's the name. A little robot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what used to be our favorite thing to do there. Hmm. You would get on those bikes with the screens on it and you would bike around all uh, of Epcot. Yeah. And kids were just like on bikes all day. That's good to know. I see. I had no idea. I I did not like. Don't come at me. I did not grow up going to Epcot much as a kid. We were always at at Magic Kingdom and sometimes at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And so, like the traditional like old school Epcot things, I'm not well rehearsed on. Do you want me to give my my hot take about old school Epcot? Sure. Um, World of Motion was better than Horizons. Oh, come at me. That means nothing to me. People love Horizons for some reason. Is Horizons where? what's what's there now um horizons is where uh mission space is now oh, okay and world of motion was right next door where test track is right 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 yeah but horizons people i think this is like the most well-documented ride yeah that people have seen i bet if i saw pictures and stuff it might trigger some memories for me as a kid if you but... can dream it uh, yes. you can do that's horizon yeah, yeah okay um but world of motion was better oh interesting mm-hmm. I don't have any opinions on that. So. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good. I trust your opinion. And you should. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Communicore Hall will be opening. It's going to be home. To, okay, this is interesting. This is what this is a quote from Disney. 
while Communicor Hall will be home to the iconic Epcot festivals and other celebrations, and we'll definitely share more on that later, which is, I'm going to, let's unpack that for a second. So you're going to have booths, food booths, right? Would you say that, would you say that like what has become home to the festivals right now is the Odyssey building? Yeah. Because that, that building takes over theming for mm-hmm. each festival. So what's going to happen to the Odyssey building when, God, yeah, me too. It's like, it's been there. It was like abandoned for a while and people wouldn't go in there. Yeah. Yeah. There I just see a show there. Have you ever seen the, the, um, the pictures of Mickey and Minnie and they're like their space suits. Yeah. That was the Odyssey. Oh, okay. I just feel like that, that building has been a lot of fun with each festival. Like they've mm-hmm. done such a fantastic job, like transforming it for the festivals. And I hope that it still is tied into the festival somehow. And I think they're not like they closed down Odyssey in between festivals to do that. Right. And I don't think they're going to close down Communicore. No, they'll have so, to f- like flip it very quickly. And maybe they won't be like, it won't be themed. Right. Right. So I think that it's just going to be booths in there. Yeah. And like, I don't know. That's interesting the way that it's worded. It says that it will be home to the festivals. That's, that's fascinating. Yeah. Um, but they said they'll share more about it later. So we'll learn and we'll share when, with you guys. When I hope know. put, I hope on the stage where Encanto is mm-hmm. when it's not Encanto, I hope they put like, um, that Festivus show. What's the name of that? Re- uh, Joyful. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they're up there. Yeah. Th- as opposed to like at World Showcase. Yeah. Yeah. And I then think they can so go too. off in the rain and stuff. Yeah. I think so too. I think that, I think that that will probably be the case because this ends September 6th. And I wonder if around that time is what, cause we don't know when food and wine will be starting this year. Ooh. In the past it started in, well, it, back in the day it started later, but recently it has been starting mid July. Um, and it's been starting like a week after Flower and Garden has ended, but Flower and Garden is ending at the end of May this year, which is perfect time for there not to be a festival or maybe another festival or there not to be a festival so that summer can really have its moment with Communicore opening, the Encanto show happening. Mm -hmm. There doesn't need to be a festival for that. So they open Communicore. They let that run through September 6th. I bet this is a prediction. I bet Food and Wine Festival will start after September 6th this year. As Make it shorter? To, yeah. As mm. opposed to like September through November. That's hard for me to agree with because festivals are such a big moneymaker for Disney. I don't see them shortening anything. Yeah. Do you think though that like food, and, because they shortened Flower and Garden Festival by that's two true. months. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's why they're building the hype around this stuff happening at Epcot this summer. And uh-huh. everyone will be, tra- not everyone, but a lot of people will be wanting to travel to Walt Disney World this summer because of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So. Man, I am going to eat my hat. Yeah. And I will gladly eat my hat yeah, you for were this. so off. You were like, there's no way. Yeah, they've already they've started testing. They had people. They had in Imagineers the riding the ride <laughs> this week. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, huh. man. Wow. It's happening a lot sooner than wow. I thought it was. Wow. I'm just going to take a moment to relish in the <laughs> victory. It's fine. I'll, I'll eat my head. <laughs> I'm excited though. It's a, I'm so glad you were wrong. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put that on a sound bite right here so that Nick, every time I'm wrong, I can push the button and it'll be Nick just saying, I'm so, so glad, glad you're, you're wrong. wrong. But really though, it's, I'm glad that it's closer. I'm saying that jokingly, but I really am glad that it's closer than we thought it was going to be. Mm-hmm. But you thought it was going to be. <laughs> That was okay. It was very exciting to see the Imagineers come down, like, on that ride. But now I want to know what they've seen. Well, I mean, they've seen it all. Yeah. Here's what I think threw me off, is that they built the animatronics all off-site ahead of time. And they just kind of, like, brought them in and were, like, plugged yeah, them in. plugged them in. Yeah. Sorry, I'm relishing in that a little bit too much. Okay. <laughs> Pickle relish or pepper relish? <laughs> Anyways. Um, no, but that that has got to be pretty soon. Like, we've got to be hearing information about, like, preview days for pass holders soon. Yeah. We'll be wrapping this up. Communicore also, it will say it says it'll be a perfect, cool indoor space year-round for you and your family to recharge. Yeah. Which is necessary because as much as I love um, World Celebration and the new garden area, during the summertime, it's going to be so hot. And there's not a lot of... Uh, there's, there's, there's not... Noise is happening in the hallway. <laughs> there's not a lot of, like... Yet, those trees are not very developed yet, so there's not a lot of shade there just yet. Right. Um, so it'll be nice to have an indoor space. Um, 
And then also... <laughs> Sorry, Oliver just woke up from his nap. And he is letting everybody he's know about it. Telling everybody that he's <laughs> awake. Poor buddy. Uh, also, it says the coolest mouse around will be ready to give you a hug once new character greeting location Mickey and Friends debuts. The coolest mouse? Yeah. Oh, man. I hope he's got like sunglasses, like oh, summertime be, Mickey. You think it'll be different? Yeah. That'd be fun if he changed with the festivals. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into that. Um, but yeah. So what that's is he in the wintertime? He's wearing like his uh, like Alaskan cruise line outfits. Ooh, that'd be fun. It'd be pretty sweet. I think it would be probably themed to Festival of the Holidays. Yeah, he's wearing like a holiday sweater at yeah. least. Yeah. Um, but that's exciting. And so, so Mickey will probably be leaving um, the Pixar yeah. theater. Maybe and, they'll change that too. Yeah. That whole thing needs some updating yeah. back there. Yeah. Yeah. Bring back Captain EO. Sure. I'm fine with that. Um, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, I do think that they should, that that needs to change eventually for sure. Cause I yeah. think it's like nobody goes back there anymore. It's outdated. Right. And it has the potential to be something very cool. Also, one of my favorite places to go when I was a kid was the, um, the jumping fountains. Yeah. Luke and Ethan love that. Literally yesterday at Epcot, they said, we want to go to the jumping fountains. And they just wanted to go like run around that area. Yeah. Was, um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids ever what that theater was back there? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I thought. Honey, that's, I Shrunk the Audience. That's, yes. That's what I have memory yeah. of. That was before Captain EO? Mm, nope. It had to have been after, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, a couple other quick notes of this pertaining to Disney. Disney's Vero Beach Resort. I've never been there. Amazing. You guys love it, right? Yeah. Their character breakfast returns April 20th. Oh. Um, and that's with Goofy and Pluto. So mm-hmm. that's exciting. If you're planning a trip out there this summer, make sure that you like get a reservation for that. I'd imagine it's not super difficult to get reservations for some of those experiences. No. No, no, no. The only thing that's difficult to get reservations for there is the, the beachside villas. Right. Yeah. There's very few of them. Yeah. And they're hot commodities. Yep. Um, I had I had written down Imagineers testing on Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Sorry to gloat there for a second. I apologize for that. <laughs> it's okay. But it's yeah. exciting. Also, did you notice that or they someone made this oh, an awareness of this? But the they had a sign that said "We're testing," and the verbiage on the sign was like similar verbiage that they used for the "We're testing" signs for Splash Mountain. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is cool. Like a little throwback to nod Splash to what, what existed there before. Okay. Um. And then finally, quick note, we're not a run Disney podcast, but the themes were released for Marathon Weekend for next January, and I have officially decided that I am going to do Dopey 2025 again. So the themes for Marathon Weekend are not like... This is running. Exactly. It's not anything like super exciting, like not very like thematic. The characters are running. Yeah. And it's usually just like the core characters, Mickey, Minnie, Fab Five, plus the additional few. Um, but they they do like designs for them and the designs are very like retro themed yeah it looks cool yeah i'm really into it i'm excited about that um also last piece of news (laughs) they had uh they released information about another mattel park opening so there's one opening in arizona yeah they're opening another one in kansas city oh um which is pretty exciting we don't know like a lot of information about these parks but obviously mattel like has big brands like barbie Hot and Wheels. Hot Wheels. So those like themed in a theme park sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I want a Hot Wheels like Test Track or a Hot Wheels roller coaster. Yeah. The first one opens late 2024 in mm. Arizona. We should go to Arizona. Okay. Not maybe this year, but like soon. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, anyways, Kansas City, is. it says it's set to open in 2026. So Where in Arizona? Glendale. Glendale. Yeah. Mm. Near Phoenix. Okay. Right? Sounds hot. Well, yeah, Arizona is very hot. I've been to Arizona. My sister lived in Tucson for a while, but I'm pretty sure Glendale is like one of the suburbs of Phoenix because I think that's where, this is my um, football knowledge, but I think that's where the stadium is for, yeah, it is a suburb of Phoenix. It's where the the Arizona Cardinals play football. Oh. Anyways. All right. (sighs) All that I can think of is I've been to Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma. Philadelphia, Atlanta, GA. I don't know that song. <laughs> okay. Who sings that? Uh, I have to get through it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I'm tired. Are you? <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of news. It was a lot of news. Yeah, but we wanted to make... Oh, we can't end right now. We're not done yet. No, we're not. We have one other last big piece of information. What was that? D23. Oh. <laughs> 
oh, I'm just going to go to sleep now. <laughs> okay, so D23, we have to buy tickets for tomorrow, if you're listening to this on Monday. Yeah, March 26th, Tuesday, March 26th. March 26th. Uh, 9 a.m. Cent- uh, Pacific, Pacific time? time, which I- is like noon for us. Yeah. Right? I think so. <laughs> um, Let me fact check that, but go ahead. And it's going to be super hard. This is the biggest D23 Expo there ever has been. Yeah. It's across two different venues. It's the Anaheim Convention Center and the Honda the, Center. The Honda Center. Mm-hmm. So the Honda Center is the nighttime like stuff with the big panels. What are the panels that are at night? So there's three different nights, and I really like how they did this this year. First of all, I love that they're all at night as opposed to some happening in the morning, some happening at night. Like last, last not last year, but the last D23 Expo, which is what it used to be called, I think there were six major panels. And they were like, in the one was in the morning and one was in the evening. These panels, you have them pulled up on. Yeah. Your- so, so Friday, August 9th, at the Anaheim Convention Center, this is what happens every day at the Anaheim Convention Center. They just say panels, presentations, shopping, merchandise, and immersive experiences. Fine. For Friday, August 9th at night at the Honda Center, mm-hmm. they have Disney Entertainment Showcase. Which is about three miles away from the convention center. And so Disney Entertainment Showcase would be movies. Which would, yeah, I think it would be not just movies, but I think, so last year... They did Disney Studios and had a specific panel for Disney Studios, which was Disney movies and dis like things that were being produced by specifically did the Disney Studio Company. Right. I think Disney Entertainment is much more broad, so I think that that will be the evening that they talk about all of the new projects from Disney Studios, but also Marvel, yeah, Star Wars, and not just movies, but shows Disney well, Plus. Well, because this is at the Honda Center, right. so this is going to be so normally. At each panel, like the, the, the Marvel panel right. would be like so, an hour. Right. So Expo Marvel was combined with Star Wars for right. and Fox for a panel. Um, and that was like in the morning. Yeah. And then, at, and then the day before that, they had the Disney Studios panel. And that was like content that was being produced, movies that were coming out, but also shows and animated, animated live action and shows that were coming out to Disney Plus or from Disney Studios. So it was all very like broken up whereas this time around they're putting everything in the evening i really appreciate that but it's going to be like going to a concert like you're going to be there for like two hours three uh, three hours for sure it's everything being combined it's going to be i hope they sell hot dogs and stuff yeah (laughs) specifically but like corn i mean like no they have you have to be able to to be yeah like a concert well so so i want to buy i want to go to the merch tent (laughs) <laughs> I want to get a I was there on August that, 9th I think that the merch tent is going to be happening over at the convention I know so. but I want this other stuff I want like exclusive po- posters oh yeah for people that went to the do you think that like because when you left a panel the last time around sometimes they would have posters to give you you think that they'll do that again this year we got portos yeah I don't think that, that there's going to be so many more people yeah, at this civic center than there are that was a, because of space I don't think that it'll be as much free handouts. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be given out. No way. There's they can no get that way. many of that posters. No. I mean, and maybe like posters. One D twenty three, destination D twenty three. We got Amazon Echoes. No way. That's Took like three years to get them. There. <laughs> so he's just like Josh Tamara came out and he's like, everybody here is getting an Amazon Echo. Stay tuned. And then literally three years later, they're like, here's your code. Here's your Echo. <laughs> And it was so complex I on will, how to get I it. will say, though, I, I don't think... I think that's an expectation that you can have in going to this. If you have been to, like, D23 Expo before, you got a lot of handouts. There's no way they can give that many handouts to that many more people. Right. I don't remember the breakdown. Well, they do this sort of stuff at baseball games. Like, you go to a baseball mini hat day or whatever. Well, that's what I was going to say. If anything, posters. Like, that's easy to hand out. But, like, food? No way. Bobbleheads? Yeah, maybe. It'll be, like, marketing materials. Yeah. You get a you get a, a stress ball. Yeah, exactly. For you to squeeze. Um, but um, I don't remember the breakdown. But it's like the Civic Center ho- holds like thousands more people than probably like fifteen thousand. Yeah, than that room did. So, the room that the the big panels happened at. Yeah, I think the the big panels hold held like two to five thousand. Okay. So I think we're like three times as many people. Yeah, I would say that that's easy to do. Which. That's good for us as far as buying tickets, which that's what we were talking about earlier is that last year I seem to remember them saying 
two tickets a person. If you're a gold member for D23, it was. T- I we should also mention that. That's what I was going to say. Tomorrow's... So I brought the I brought the breakdown of when the sales start. So okay. March 26, a sale starts at 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Pacific time, so 3 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was way off. Well, by three hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three, so at 3 p.m. Eastern time, there will be a gold member pre-sales on uh, March 26th. And then that is just for gold members. So if you're a gold member of D23, you'll be able to participate in that sale. If you're not, you will not be able to. On March 27th, they're having a sale at 3 p.m. Eastern time for Visa cardholder. And I would imagine that's like... The Chase Visa. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't say Chase Visa, though. Whoever has a A Visa card. What? Read it it again? It just says Visa card holder presale. It doesn't say Chase Visa. Yeah. Sure. If you got a Visa card. That's a lot of people. Literally everybody. (laughs) (laughs) So good luck. I'm shocked that it doesn't say Chase Visa. Yeah. Um, But anyway, uh, it just says on the website, on the D23 website, it says Visa card holder presale starting at 3 p.m. March 27th. And then... On March 28th, go ahead. Which that to me says that they plan on having more tickets than just for D23 gold members. So what I imagine that they'll do is they'll they'll only Save release some. a certain amount of tickets. Yeah. So if you miss your chance on right the first day, try yeah, again the on the second day. day. Yeah. If you if you qualify for all of these, absolutely. Yeah. And then the last day, all D23 members. So uh, the last day is March 28th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And all D23 members means that you still do need to go register for a D23 membership, but you can do the free Which option. is free, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that is going to be intense. I'm not oh, going to lie. right here. I could have read I have as well. some PTSD from buying tickets. For all D23 events, last year we, got, we had the registration for D- Destination D23, which happened this past fall. And I was flying into LA and landed in LA to go to Disneyland as the sale started. And Ethan had lo- left his bag sitting in the, um, I say Ethan, we all did, left Ethan's bag sitting in the terminal at LAX after we had already left. So, yeah, totally. You had to go back and get it. And <laughs> totally, you missed out on these. Totally missed tickets. out those. There's going to be so many more tickets this time around than there were last time around. But also, yeah. Last expo. They did a lottery system right. for the panels. Right. So you like told them like, which panels do you want to see? And you're like, I don't know, these. And they're like, all right, you got, yeah. you get a chance to win a Pixar ball. Right. It, some of them had nothing to do with like the big panels. Yeah. What is nice about this year is that buying a ticket gets you into those panels. Right. Like the way that it's going to work is that when you log in to buy your ticket, you pick which category of ticket you want. And I don't think we spend time going into all of the categories. You can buy day tickets. You can buy a three-day pass. You can buy a pass that gets you into the to the convention center, but doesn't get you into the Honda Center. The Honda Center, like these these big panels at night. If you're just wanting to go to the do ex- some shopping and stuff, yeah, you can buy a pass for that. And all of these have individual pass, individual day passes as well as um, three-day passes. But if you buy the three-day pass that um, gets you into the Honda Center. The way that it's going to work is that it will then open up a seating chart, much like buying a ticket to a concert or to a sporting event, and you have to select what specific seat you want for that event. Yeah, and um, you'll come back if you buy the three day pass. You get the same seat for every all three. Right, days. that is your seat, which is fantastic news. Like, yeah, you don't have to fight anybody. We're not. You don't have to stand line, in line all through the night. People literally were camping out. Yeah, people were sleeping underneath the convention center. Yeah, waiting f- to be able to try to get into these panels. So, so that's exciting, but it makes it that much more stressful. Right, it makes it stressful today, but it'll make the event so much easier for sure. Um, on Saturday, August tenth, the thing at the Honda Center is the Disney Experiences Showcase. Right, meaning new things coming to the parks. Yeah, new things coming to Springs. New things coming to all the things international parks. Yeah. It'll be the it cruise is, line. Yeah. It'll be essentially be like the, the parks panel. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that has to do with Disney. Yeah. That's what it is. Like yeah. as far as the experience. That's on Saturday. That's on Saturday. And then Sunday is the legends right. ceremony. Yeah. Honestly. Which by the way. Yeah. Who's hosting the legends? Who's hosting it? <laughs> Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> I, I 
it would be fine missing the legend ceremony. Like, I kind of want to see Miley Cyrus. I want to see a lot of them. Angela Bassett, I think, would yeah. be pretty cool to see. Um, uh, Joe Rody is getting finally recognized. I've seen Joe Rody plenty of times. I've never. So. Okay. <laughs> but I, I want to see. There are these other people that I've never seen before. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. I think. It, I mean, that that's a fun ceremony, but that's not one that like I feel like I need to be at. Right. Like, I'm not going to oh. be heartbroken if I miss it. No, I have a bet going with our friend. Yeah, I've heard about this bet. That's, about James that Cameron. Whether Jim Cameron's coming or not. Yeah. Because during the last expo, he like Skyped in to promote Way of Water. And I was like, look at this guy. <laughs> I think he's, if he Skypes in for, to if accept, he Skypes in to accept his Disney Legends I, I will have a lot of respect for Jim Cameron if he does that. Did I say James Cameron? His name is James Cameron. Oh, okay. I call him Jim. Oh, okay. We're on a first name, <laughs> nickname basis. He's going to hang out. Yeah. You text. Yeah. Way of Water. Um, I think that here's my thing. If for some reason... You get into the queue and you you show up and all of the tickets for the three day passes are sold out, but there are still individual day passes available. Prioritize those. Yeah, I'm gonna buy Friday Saturday. Yeah, same. I mean, I'm hoping that by the time I get there, I'll be able to get a three day pass. Yeah, but we won't go into the full breakdown of pricing because there's a lot. There's so much of we it. We will tell you that the highest that you can spend for three days is twenty six hundred dollars, which is like kudos to you if like you're at a place where like you could just swing that that is to me that feels like a waste of money to me it it does as well because the difference between 9.99 and 25.99 is 12 rows yeah i feel like there's got to be more than 12 rows i don't know it, the it way that the it. seating chart looked at i know but the seating chart looks like big sections i don't know maybe there is i know it was like rows 101 through yeah, yeah. 103 rows that is just intense. one ten through one twelve to sit in row one of a of a a conference yeah pay twenty six hundred dollars to see you, josh you tomorrow might, that close you might see like for the marvel stuff you might get to see like uh yeah, the actors like loki and stuff but you're not meeting them no but you'll get you maybe you can make eye contact to get them a moment i mean i talk about 20... a moment that i had with ryan yeah i don't even remember his last name right now yeah Ryan Gosling. Gosling. The, <laughs> You're the, focused on secrets. The Goose King. Yeah. Um, I I had one moment where I looked into his eyes and I talk about that for years upon years. That would be worth the $2,600. Worth $2,700, $2,600. That seems pretty steep for me. I, well, there... here's the reason that it's steep for me because, and I think a lot of people are going to do this, it's so hard to get tickets to Disney events. When you get into the queue, you end up buying tickets for all your friends. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. one person, everybody tries to get into the queue and then one person gets in ahead of everybody and buys the max amount of tickets you can get. Eight yeah. tickets. Yeah. Which isn't, it's, that's a lot of tickets. Eight tickets is a lot. Eight tickets is a lot. Event for sure. And if you're going to be, you know, what what did we say was 2,600 times eight? Yeah. $20,000? Oh my gosh. Right? <laughs> no. 20,800 by I the way. I feel like those tickets will stay available for a little while. No. You don't think so? They'll They're going to sell out fast. instantly. Wow. Dedication. You know, yeah. if if you can swing it, then I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, The lowest price is like 300 bucks, and that is for like the nosebleeds, which I don't know what the nosebleeds are like. I, I've been to other hockey arenas before, and there's not really a bad seat in the house. Right. For sure. But you are going to be further away from the stage. Um, And so, honestly, like, that's not the end of the world either, though, because... What are you there for? Are you there? You're there to hear information. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So. You can hear it live streamed yeah. from your house. But to be there in person is a very special experience. Yeah, it's a lot of energy. Yeah. You might end up with some Portos. Too. Yeah. I don't think Portos. <laughs> <laughs> when is Portos opening at downtown Disney? I don't know. Did it already open? No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so that's exciting. But be be ready. Have multiple devices going if you can. Mm-hmm. I would say. So they do an interesting thing. I don't know if it's like, is it wrong to to tell people to do that? Because is that like... Literally practice? everybody's doing that, so it's not wrong to tell people to do that. Yeah, I mean, people would probably come at me and say like, don't encourage people to do that because it floods the system. But like, I'm sorry. The system's already flooded. And it's it's, it's stressful. It's and, done. And yeah, you just want to make dog. sure you get in there. You got to get it out It's truly there. a dog eat dog world. And we're in the same boat. Like, yeah. there's no difference for there's us. No, there's no like getting ahead of anybody. We have full transparency. We have not, as to this point, 
a couple days before, neither of us have been invited for media purposes by anybody or anyone. Maybe mm-hmm. that could change, would be nice. But as of right now, no. And so we are in the yeah. same boat with everybody. We're going to we're gonna go in there and we're going to buy tickets. The way that the queuing system works is it's a, a virtual queue and they open it up a few minutes before. So right. it'll open up a few minutes before three, but that is a lottery system. Yeah, it's so random. So you get into a queue and you're put into a lottery as to when you are able to buy tickets. Yeah. And then anybody that enters from three on is behind all of those people. Yep. So like, so, and, and what, what we will be doing, our strategy will be that we will have it pulled up and we will be with our friends that are all trying to go to this event. And we will say, where are you at in the queue? Cause what usually happens, I don't know if it'll be different for this, but this is typical for Disney registration across the board, whether it's run Disney or D 23, mm-hmm. it'll say, um, and it's similar to like, if you were a ticket master trying to buy tickets, it'll say, as opposed to saying how many people are ahead of you, it'll yeah. typically say one hour wait one hour 45 more minutes than an hour. and you'll see it start to like trickle down but more than an hour is kind of like where it is across the board for everybody and so what happens is is that like as soon as one of our devices goes less than more than an hour usually we'll lean into that device to buy mm-hmm. the tickets so but everything it's always changing and game on. things are going yeah on. we don't know we don't know what to expect for it because it's this is a whole new system it's so a whole new world it is it is stressful for me thinking about having to select your seats because you can get caught up in that and tied up at the moment so right but anyways good luck happy May hunger the games odds be ever in your favor <laughs> well we both went there yeah look at us i'm gonna um i'm really good at decorating cakes so oh. that's gonna be my strategy oh what is that camouflage <laughs> oh wait. have you never seen the hunger games i, I thought you meant like you're gonna have like a like a ticket buying party and you're gonna make cakes for no it. i'm gonna camouflage myself and hide within the internet when you're in the hunger games yeah oh Ooh, hide within the internet yeah <laughs> sounds sleuthy <laughs> it sounds sleuthy <laughs> and i'm gonna learn how to shoot a bow and arrow wow i think i'm gonna learn how to throw things that's what Peter does does he, he can have... decorate the cakes but then he also throws like the he was used to throwing like big bags of flour oh so that's what made him strong yeah okay yeah. There you go. <laughs> Happy you we only know two characters from this movie. No, I know many. Gale. Gale? Yeah. <laughs> what was their power? Finnick. What was their power? What were they good at? Kato. Rue. Rue is in the the actress that plays Rue Power. <laughs> they're not they're just like people. Gale is just a human being. Yeah, but like Gale was the, the love interest of Katniss. Uh, like the, the little triangle that they had going on. Okay. So Katniss is good with a bow and arrow. Peter can make cakes. <laughs> What do the other people do? Gale just hunts with Katniss. That's he, it? He's from District 12. Do you, have, You've seen the movies, obviously. Yeah, I don't remember any of it. Really? Yeah. Do you remember that there was a guy back home that she like kind of had a thing for and that he was having a hard time seeing? Was it Taylor Lautner? No. No. Then he I was in Twilight. It was, um, it was one of the Hemsworth brothers. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember which one. Peter. Peter Hemsworth. <laughs> Chris, what are, what are their names? Christopher Hemsworth. No, Chris Hemsworth is, is Thor. Uh, Thor. But what's his brother's name? Jürgen? <laughs> <laughs> no. He was married to Miley Cyrus. Yeah, I know. I don't. Cr- Christian? No. <laughs> Hans? No. Stop. You're making my brain <laughs> not do things. <laughs> Henry? Uh, Hemsworth. 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 Oh, you're going to look it up so fast and it's going to pop up immediately. The Hemsworth brother. Liam. Liam. Yeah. Yeah. Liam plays Gale. Uh, So anyways, here's Wonderwall. (laughs) Was there another one? I think there's one other brother, but he doesn't like do much. Oh yeah, here he is. He he doesn't look like (laughs) them. Oh, sad. Yeah. Not only does he not look like them, but he's also not an actor. He has a mustache. He must have like some complexes. What? There's got to be stuff there for sure. Why? I feel like if you what are... What if he is a very successful real estate agent? True. And he's very happy. He could be very happy. Lives his life. But there has to be some sort of like in your brain comparison there. I guess there doesn't have to be, but... Doesn't have to be. Yeah. I want to talk to him. I want to get to know him. You want to get to know the other Helmsworth? Yeah. What did we say his name was? <laughs> See? I don't know. <laughs> did we say his name? I just saw a picture of him. You already forgot. Shirtless Chris, Liam, and Luke. Luke, wow. On epic Abu Dhabi vacation. Oh, this was recently? I don't know. 
Brothers United. Anyway, this is a very... He, he seems like he's the most muscly of the three. This is a he's very... also the shortest. Oh. See? Probably something there. Man. <laughs> You're about, you're like psychoanalyzing. I psychoanalyze. What's his name? Everything and everyone. I wanted to say. What? What's his name? Luke. Okay. Just <laughs> I'll remember Luke. That's easy for me. How do you think he went with Luke, Liam, and Chris? Why wasn't he? It'd be really Larry? tragic if Chris was the Luke, like the, the extra brother. That's even more of a reason to, my name is different. <laughs> I don't even have the same letter as these guys. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Anyway. Uh <laughs> It's been too long. I'm tired. How long have we been going in this episode? It's, this is probably two hours. Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're joking. We probably, no, I mean we didn't record all. We're probably at an hour and a half. Okay. We should probably wrap it up. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Yeah. It's been long, but we had a lot to cover. So hope you guys appreciated this. Um, a lot of information, a lot of recapping. We didn't even really recap fully what our experiences were the last couple of weeks. It's okay. But that's okay because we there was a lot of information that was released this year. Very exciting stuff this week, not this year. Very exciting things happening. I can't wait. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna feel a lot less stressed once I have my tickets secured day. for D twenty three. Yeah. So, anyways, all right. It was good to see you guys. Sorry I missed last week. I'll Over. do better. No, please. You did fine. It was fun. I got to hang out with everybody. Oh, okay. I hope we you guys are... enjoyed. Go ahead. Talking to Nick. I almost called you Chris. Cool. <laughs> You're Helmsworth now. Helmsworth. Uh, it was fun. It was fun getting to hang out with everybody. I did record a special specific episode for Patreon that we posted. Um, so if you guys want to go check that out on our Patreon, that was fun. It was just like get to know you Nick edition. And I talked about Francie and I's like love story. Love story. Yeah. When we met, how we met, all those fun things. So if you want to check it out, that's on our Patreon. And we'll be continuing to release other Patreon content. So yeah. stay tuned. Thank you guys for hanging out. <laughs> My brain is tired. What do you say at the end? Isn't there a thing that you said? I do. Thank you for tracking with us. Oh, yeah. All right. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye.